This is Den Bosch, the capital of the province Noord-Brabant in the Netherlands. And we're going to do something very special today with this colossal mansion owned by, no, dedicated to one man, woman, individual, uh, person, uh, entity. Oh my god. Yeah, that one. This is the St. John's Cathedral, which means St. John's Cathedral if you hadn't picked up on that. And today we're going to climb it. Well, sort of. They built scaffolding to make it hard for noobs like me to fall to my immediate death climbing the darn thing. And uh, while I climb these stairs, let me tell you a little bit about this church. They started programming in 1220, but they upgraded it to version 2.0 in 1380. And uh, because they were too lazy to build a new tower, they left the old one. So. They say that size doesn't matter, uh, I'd like to argue that it does and you need to be in good physical condition in order to take it. After 29,326 and a half steps you get to the first level with a beautiful view of the clock tower. And then you realize that you only have 4,564 steps to go. On the way up you might have missed the statue of an angel with a mobile phone, which you can actually call. It was put up there during a restoration to replace an old statue. And some jokester thought that it was actually funny to open a phone number that people could actually call. Literally everyone in the city and his dog called this number, which by the way always went straight to voicemail. So the church thought, what he can, we can do too. So now the angel has her own official divine phone number. But why? Why go through all the trouble of building something to reach the roof of the church? Well, it started with these little figurines on the buttresses of the St. John, which date from the same era of painter Jeroen Bos, who died 500 years ago in 2016. The painter is, uh, well, kind of important to the city of Den Bosch. And because of his death day birthday, they thought it was a nice idea to show these statues to the public because they are so <coughs> fucking high up in the sky, nobody could actually see them. So, in 2016, they built scaffolding so you actually could. And well, size matters, so what if you could make it higher? And here we are in 2023, we can look out over the whole city and its surroundings. Uh -huh. 